Hello and welcome back to Terroir. I played this game a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago actually, when the game first came out on Steam. It is in early access and still being developed, and there's been a few updates. So I thought we'd check it out and uh, see what those new updates are all about. We're on 1.05 now, which has unlocked a few things. Uh, number one, we can now make taverns. We have to have a lot of money. But we can build a tavern. A tavern is a, a, a place to enjoy a nice meal, a nicer conversation, and the best wine sourced locally. Wine sold here earns you 20% more than the retail price. Highly rated wines earn you monthly renown. So that is something that we would love to have here in next door to us. So I have played the game. I, the, I'm still playing my original game that I was playing before. Uh, those of you that watched that one remember the, the terrible Chardonnay that I had that I tried selling and nobody wanted to sell it. So it just sat in the distributor's place for a very long time. And I couldn't get rid of it. Uh, well, it finally it finally sold off, and we were able to continue growing. We're like five or six years in the future now. I've been playing this for about thirty minutes or so, and I have also purchased a uh, a sandy plot of land, and I have some Sauvignon Blanc, which is a white wine that is really terrible. Apparently, I sold it one year, and it did not do well at all. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. The Chardonnay actually is getting better. I don't know if maybe it has to do with either I'm doing something right, I don't know what it is, or just the age of the vine is helping that out. But my sat my Chardonnay has actually been doing okay. Um, what else? What else? I purchased this forest over here because this gives us an increase in production for our vines. I have this big problem with bugs. Every, every um, field has bugs all over it, and I don't know how to deal with them. Eventually they'll go away, but then they'll just come back. It's been a very rainy year. I can't get any sweetness, any ripeness. Come on, stop raining. There is, um, there's other buildings, that, one other building that you can put here, which is a worker's hut or something like that. And one of the things that it unlocks is the ability to, when you trim your fields, like if I were to trim my Cabernet field, it'll trim all the Cabernet fields at the same time. Which is what I really need, because it takes too long to trim. So when we get rainy times like that, I can't keep the foliage off. But uh, we're going to sit here and just let this thing go. Um, a couple things. Well, let's go look at all the new stuff with these last few updates. First off, we have a, a bank now. We can take out loans from the bank. We can take out up to a maximum of our renown multiplied by 2,000, which would be about 40 grand, 38 grand. I believe is what that is. We also have ambient objects. Most of these are just for fun. You can see I've placed a few of them around. I'll show them off. A few of them do actually do things. Um, I placed a tent out there we saw earlier. Uh, wind turbine you can place for 50 grand. It'll give you 10 renown instantly. And there's another one in here. The yeah, the lighthouse. Lighthouse is 500 grand, but it, it uh, will give you instantly 100 uh, renown. And I placed a few. You, got, you can see I have a tent over here. I put a couple campfires out. The campfires look cool because they actually put out light. I'm gonna go chip these things off here. And I gotta figure out how to get rid of these dang bugs. And it's August already. We need to get some ripeness into these things. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to rain again. I, I'm going to trim these down again. I think that I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Let's see if we can get some ripeness in on this. Like that. All right. Uh, let me see what we've got. Oh, is it already time? Um, almost. Let me see what we have in here. I actually have some that are ready to go. I have... We are ready to be bottled. Um, oh, all of you are. Yeah. So let's go ahead. You are earthy. Some Cabernet that's earthy. Let's bottle that up. I'm going to put a cork in it because it might be fancy. I don't remember how that year was actually. Uh, we have some Chardonnay, which is buttery apparently. Let's bottle that up and put it in the right bottle. Um, sure, we'll, spend, we'll put the money for the cork. And the new stuff. The white wine, which everyone always hates. So we're not going to spend any extra money on it. Everyone hates that stuff. For the bottles... Um, let's go ahead and organize tasting for our, our new one. And we're going to take... Oh, I did unlock a new guy. We have Tuma Takahashi here. He's a four-star wine tester. He hates everything. So we're not going to talk to him. We're just going to talk to these three. El Sorito who always likes me. No, oh, white wine is meant to be a good introduction to Oenology. Or Oenology. For beginner... Uh, it said this might be able to scare people back to drinking pale ale. Yeah, that's about usually how they feel about that one. We're going to just trash it. So I've learned from my mistake last time... If you have a terrible wine, don't try to sell it. Just get rid of it. We have some buttery Chardonnay here. So let's organize tasting. Uh, we're going to take it easy here with, with uh, Boris and Fern. And maybe we'll do Caleb here. 
Oh, oh, perfect meal for enjoyed for El Fresco on a midsummer afternoon. Three and a half stars on my Chardonnay. Mm, all right, all right. Let's sell that. Let's sell that to um um this guy. We can have that. His renown's going up now. Manhattan will buy my wines for ten percent more. Excellent. Uh, you can have my other hundred and eight. You should sell this stuff pretty good because it's a good wine. You're still waiting to sell some. And I have one more tasting for my Cabernet here, which we're going to do you and you, and I'm not going to do the, the jerk guy. We could do Oscar. Mm, two stars. That's not really that good. Not really good. I can't sell it because everyone else is selling things. Not the best wine. Nothing really here is any great. This stuff is only a half a star. I'm just going to trash that. 840 bottles of wine down the drain. Uh, we're going to hang on to this for one more month. There we go. That's what we want. I think this is exactly what we want. Um, yeah. We're going to go ahead and do it. Five and five and four is, I think, pretty good. We have a combination of excellent weather and camping measure. This appears grapes were exceptional. Excellent. Not the greatest yield, but it's something. Let's smash those grapes. I think we're actually pretty good on all these. We'll see how they come out. I mean, I always think they're good, but sometimes they're terrible. I don't really know. Um, there's one thing in here I want to buy. Torches. 50 bucks. Can I just stick a, stick a torch in here so I can see things? Yeah, there we go. More, more torches. Yeah, very nice. I like the campfire better, but this is okay. Over here by my, my, my tractor. There you go. Alright, let's uh, bottle or barrel that up. Uh, if we... Uh, fermentation will decrease sweetness by one. I don't know that we need to do that. Maybe we can do for a little bit for you two. Drop it down to a five. Are the bugs finally going to go away? That's with fruit flies and yield an entire... My good one. So we've got three uh, fields of Cabernet. One of the... New and the Blanc and, and uh, Sauvignon, I should say, and the Chardonnay. We also have one of those. This one will increase acidity by one, which I don't want to do. No, I can do. Okay. Now let's barrel it up. Um, let's see. Put it in here, and so putting it into the barrel. If I can click the button, will decrease standards by two for every month, which I think is what we want to do. So what we'll do is we'll we'll put this in the barrel this month, and in December, we'll bottle it up. And I think we're going to have some pretty good wine. Here, it's December already, so let's bottle that stuff. We're getting the, uh, it was good wine on most of these. This stuff will probably be bad. The white wine, so we can just do that one. But we'll just leave a screw cap, because it's not going to be good. Chardonnay, though, I think might be some good stuff. I, have, eh, I just don't have enough of it. Bottle this one. Six barrels of that. Um, okay. Let's sell. Uh, let's do a tasting. This one I think is going to be a good one. So we're going to. You know what? We're going for it. We're talking to this guy. This guy that we hate. What do you think? Oh, not too bad. Three stars from that guy. Reflects a lot of the good things about the, the varietal. Big and bold, thanks to the tannins and acidity. Uh huh. Sell it. Sell it for a big bucks. I want to sell it to this guy. $96, $96 a bottle? That would be amazing. Okay, tasting for the Chardonnay. I think this is going to be good, too. We're, we're going for it. We're going for the big guy on the Chardonnay. Stuff used to be terrible. Uh, we're going to bring in Caleb also. Mm, he didn't like it so much, but Caleb liked it. Caleb knows what a good wine is. <laughs> uh, all right, and we have this one, which no one's going to like, so... I don't know how to, how to make this stuff. Oh, that's the subtle hints of vinegar. Is that what you really want? You might get a whiff of kerosene. <laughs> uh, yeah, kerosene wine. Excellent. All right. Um, I can't sell this one yet because I want to sell it for the big bucks. Um, this one, however, the Chardonnay, I'm going to sell not here. Man, I, I need to get their relations up because this is terrible. $38 versus $85. We can give them like $25. Maybe that'll help raise their relations up so we can get some more money out of them. Alright, so we only got 14 grand, but we'll start selling some things. We'll make some money back. 
And hopefully by the end of this episode, we're already 10 minutes in, we can get something going here. I would really like to get a, uh, an upgrade, but it's $100,000 and 50 renown, which I don't have anywhere near. So we'll just fast forward it and see, see what we can do here. Keep an eye on the market. We'll keep on selling it as we as it comes in. And yeah, they're all still selling. Okay. So now we sit again for another year. In February, it's planting time. I would like to buy another field. I don't know. Did I, I don't know if I mentioned this. So in uh, this the loam soil, you can build, you can grow Cabernet and Chardonnay. In the, I learned literally, in sandy soils, you can grow Sauvignon and something else. And then in the, the clay soils, it's, I think, Merlot and Pinot Noir, I believe, are the ones that you can grow in the clay soil. I assume they sell for a lot more when you get them good. I don't really know, but that would make sense. I want to trim all these down. And like uh like that. Okay, I think we're in good shape. We'll let this sort of sit. It's only May. We could trim this one one more, but I don't want to go too much. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do it because the rain's coming. Yeah, I should have done it sooner. So keep the foliage off until we get that ripeness up. And let's make sure we sell some things. How's the market doing? Anybody good? Oh yeah, we're all good. We got one relations on them. The good stuff needs to be sold here because that's $96 a barrel uh, a bottle um, I'm gonna give you all 180 this because I want I want that to go up I'm gonna have to two once I sell it maybe it'll go a little higher Chardonnay is pretty good also I'll give you 151 of that I and mean, look at the difference there we go now it's gonna go up okay and we have fungal rot and flies. That's well, not going to help anybody. We need to get our sweetness, our uh, ripeness up. There we go, there we go. Maybe I went a little too far on the Chardonnay. The yield is kind of... Oh, there we go. The yield's good looking better. Uh, now, I'm going to do it now. It's a little bit off, a little bit wonky. Chardonnay's a little high. I think we'll be, we can, we can like, we can deal with that though. This one's a good wine with the, my new one, my new one. Maybe we did okay with it. We're gonna find out. Alright, so, yeah, we're all gonna do this one. We could really use some cash here. Crush those grapes. And let's sell what we have left. Nope. Man, it just seems like it's just gonna take, like, forever to get up to where you can afford to grow your business. I could be doing something wrong, but I don't know. Seems like a lot of time. Uh, fermentation, uh, fermentation decreases sweetness by one for every two weeks. So we need to go down three, two, three for you. You're actually really good, so you're fine. You can probably go down one. Okay. And there may be a trick to different wines and how long they ferment, and where I, I assume they all need to be around five. Uh, I wasn't thinking that before, but when my Chardonnay started coming in good uh, and getting decent scores with it, then I'm thinking that is just the trick. Just have everything sort of in the middle. There could be uh, ways of tweaking it a little bit, like maybe six is good at some of them and, and four is good at others, but for now we're just going to go for the five goal and see if that works for us. Okay, this will uh, increase acidity by one, which is fine with you, not fine for you. And okay for you. No. Okay, now let's bottle it up, or barrel it up, I should say. Now in the French oak, right? Decreases by two on the tans and acidity by one. So these two are fine. The Chardonnay, we're gonna let it sit for like two months. Bottle you up. Yep. 
And the Chardonnay we're letting sit. And you are a good one. Should be good, actually. Put a cork in it. And in uh, into February, we'll, we'll bottle that one up. Let's organize a tasting for... I think this might be a good one. We're, we're going to talk to the easy people. And, uh, yeah, Caleb. What do you think? Oh, Y'all hate it. Y'all hate it. I don't know how to make you good. <laughs> I don't know how to make that stuff good. Uh, just trash it. This stuff is terrible. I don't know how to make uh, a good seven young, whatever it's called. All right, you uh, that one and that one. Oh, there we go, five stars. Good Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, Green red vine. Like this little red gem. Yes, it's a gem. It is a very good gem. Sell it for more money. Um, you take all of it, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of it, like fifty of it. Then we go up to four. Excellent. And... Okay. A lot of stuff to sell here. There we go. Okay, we can make some cash this time now. We made some good wine. Now good cash. Let's see if we can get a good year. And maybe we can buy... Another plot of land. This is Sandy. It's going to be 50 grand by that one, but it would give us more of this, which we can't seem to figure out how to grow. I can't. 75 grand for that one. It'd be nice to get... Yeah, like, this one would be good. 75 grand. What we could do is maybe re-roll this and hope for a... a loam. We said we could get another Cabernet in there. I don't know that I want to do that. Because I do want to try the clay out. It'd be nice if we can get up to that point. Trim you and a you. We'll trim you all again. Make that again. I'm gonna try something with this. This one over here. We're gonna let it just ripen all the way. Up to like a nine. And we're gonna see if if that's the trick. Maybe there's something to growing this stuff differently. Can you stop raining? Okay, what is it? May? All right, we'll sit on this for a little bit. Uh, how's my wine? We got 25 grand. How's it looking in the market? Oh, okay, we're good. Let's sell some things. Uh, I'm supposed to be bottling you up. Whoops. This is my Chardonnay. Bottle that up. And taste the, uh, the buttery Chardonnay. Minerva. You're new. Okay, we'll talk to Minerva. It's probably a bad idea, but it's okay. Uh, Minerva hated it. Yeah, we let it sit in the barrel too long. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I do want to sell this one. Sell you here, and I'm going to give you 32 of them to raise you up a little bit. Okay. And do I have another good one? Yeah, you're pretty good. You're okay. Okay. Here comes the rain again. Stop rain. Stop raining. And we could spend 15 grand and build in one of those those um, buildy up houses, but I really want to get my my um, ch chalet chateau, whatever it is, upgraded. And that's a hundred grand plus the renown. It's gonna take a long time. Ooh, sun, sun coming out is good. That'll get us some ripeness. There we go. Get that around five. This one, we're going to let it go all the way. Dang you, rain. Okay, let's see. We're going to go a little bit longer. It's September right now. We can go all the way up to th uh, through November. And we'll be okay. Our yield is looking okay. Uh, stop raining. I can't control. I can't click. I can't uh, trim fast enough. Come on, come on. We're down to one. And it's November. We got to do it now. We have to. If we hit December, then we're hosed. 
Uh, well, that was a terrible end of the year. Um, what's this one? No, oh, rot. Alright, we'll probably just trash that one. Actually. Okay, piggy edge it is. Let's see if we can get some of these uh, ra risen a bit. There's really a lot into dealing with the market. Like, if we get these guys up at the 5, they, they buy our stuff pretty well. Is there anything that's worth selling to them? Not really. I'm just gonna... Um, I'm gonna buy this. It's a lot of wine. We'll sell if it. See if that sells okay. It's got two stars. I mean, it's not terrible. This is the same way. I'm gonna give you... Uh, that... Hopefully that'll stay up there, okay. Why am I losing money? What's costing me so much money? Uh, decrease sweetness by one. I don't want that. So, we don't want to decrease any sweetness. Remember that? How I was going to have a bunch of sweetness there? Uh, I didn't. Increases by one. I don't want that. No. No. Okay. Barrel it up. It's actually, it actually doesn't look too bad. You know, it's it's right there in the middle. Maybe this isn't a bad crop. Crop, is that the word? All right. Uh, we'll try to see how we'll get here. This is the Cabernet. We went, put a cork in it. Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. And the fungal, the fungal blanc. No, no cork. It's going to be bad. Alright, wine tasting time. This is... Which one was this? This is the bad one. So, no one's going to like this. 360 bottles going down the drain. Oh! Really? You know it's not half bad. Really? Really? But nobody likes that stuff. I'll uh, take it. Okay. Okay, Chardonnay. Uh, bring you and Pauline. Oh, the Chardonnay's terrible. Yeah, I'm sorry. The death of winemaking. 360 bottles, just dump it down the drain. And this one I think is going to be a, a good one. Um, you know what? We're going to go. We're going for it, Minerva. Please don't give me a bad score. Nancy. No, not bad, not bad, not bad. Pretty good for Minerva, I think. I can't sell this. Alright. Good. Let's make some money. We're broke. 2000 bucks. $300? Mm. Let's please sell. I mean, it's February. We already have ripeness coming in. It's a super hot. Uh, what am I supposed to do about this? Dang you, weather. Can I sell more? No. But nothing we can do. We can just sit and just sort of hope that happens. Actually. What we'll do is we'll sit on it with the... This is optimal foliage. This shouldn't change any throughout the year. If it goes up a little higher, then we'll trim it. If it gets, like, bushier. But for now, it's actually perfect. And when we get into, like, September, we can trim it some more and hopefully get a little more ripeness into it. Like that. We don't want that. We don't want that at all. We don't want that. We don't want that. Oops. Uh, we're going to do that anyways, actually, because we our ripeness dropped quite a bit. So get those back up. And now we're sitting right where we need to be. We need a nice rainstorm. Um, yeah, do it. Yield is actually looking pretty good. 1.57, 7. This is a this is a really good one. Okay. Let's go and start crushing. We'll see if uh, the, the the Chardonnay was really good. This actually might be a good a good uh, crop here. I'm gonna make sure we can sell these off while uh, while we can. Those and take 
100 of those, and 140. Okay, there we go. We're at five now. All worker actions except clear forest and plant forest are free. Oh. Like. I think that means, like, if I build the other building there, that's a worker action. I don't have the money to do it. I think we're looking good on all these. I'm not going to really mess with much. We're just going to let the, do their thing. That they do. Barrel it up. Everything looks pretty good. The chardonnay is a little bit higher, but I think it's going to be all right. We're not going to leave it in the barrel for a long time. This one, maybe this, that's the key to this one, is just leaving it in the barrel for a long time. I don't know. All right. Bottle up this one. Nine barrels worth. Chardonnay, this is going to be a good one. Right there. Put a cork in it. And this one might be okay. We'll put a cork in it, because it might be all right. Oh. No. Hang on. Did we sell anything here? Still waiting to sell stuff there. Um, we go ahead and organize our tasting. Chardonnay. Let's bring in... I want to bring in the the good folks, but I'm afraid they're going to, like, tear me apart. All right. This guy. Oh, no! Really? Really? That's... This is, like, the best guy. Oh, really? All right. We did it. This is like the that's the best thing I've ever I've ever made. Um, okay, that one and you and I don't know if this is gonna be that great, but we can we can go for it. Look at that five stars again. Oh man, oh man, we are mind mind making geniuses <laughs> or something like that. All right, um, we can't bottle yet because we're poor. There we go. We can do it now. Okay, bottle it up. Put it into here with a cork because we're fancy folks now. And organize our tasting. What do you think of this one? Um, bring El Chorito because we like that guy. You and I'm going to go out on a limb and bring Oscar. Mm, no, not so much. Not so much. All right. Uh, come on, sell out those things so I can sell the good stuff. Got 27 minutes here, but I want to see what this, how much this stuff sells for. I don't get why our money is so terrible. We're just not... S I guess we bought these extra fields, which is costing me money. We can see them here. Where's our finances? Right here. Financial report. We're making good money, but we are spending money on maintenance with, uh, like, that's 16 grand on our, our chateau. Harvest expenses. So it's, uh, I guess the main, the vine maintenance, is that what's costing me so much money? Let this run for a bit. Up to 14 grand. Can I sell some things now? Oop. I wish there was a way of saying, like, there usually could be a pop up. Say, all bottles at Hogwarts is sold. Something like that. So we'll go into February. I just want to see what these things are worth. Take a look. Okay, we can sell at all of them. I have some wine for you. Chardonnay? Who wants the Chardonnay? 114, 126. Let's see what the other one does. That's the Chardonnay. What about this one? 99. Not quite as cool. All right. Uh, we're going to do this one. 26. That and that, I guess. Okay, and then the rest of this stuff is going to go to you. You get 810 bottles of the stuff. Okay. And now we should actually make a lot of money here. We'll see how this does. I think. Oh, what am I doing? Keep an eye on the vines. Turn those back. We really got to put a cut in this video. We may come back and continue this. Actually, what I might do is pl continue playing this a little bit more, and then we'll pick up uh, a little bit later on, like we did before. We, we'll advance several years and um, 
see if, uh, if, if we can start getting into these new things, like the, the, the level two chateau and the, um, the, the, uh, tavern. I really want to get a tavern out there. On trimming these back, because we're still at one. And it's May already, and the fungal rot is here. Okay, how's the selling going? 82 grand now. Let's sell the rest of this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it all here. Okay. And I sold did I sell all the other one? I guess I did. These are kind of trash. I'm gonna get rid of them. Down the drain. You're going down the drain also, I think. Even though you are buttery. What does butter do for me? 10% on your wine's price. But I don't think it's going to sell. I don't want to hurt my level 5 that I have here. Now, these level 2s aren't terrible. We can do this. I think that'll be alright. It'll be a while before we get more wine, and they'll probably sell by the time that hits. This one's earthy. You can take those. Okay. Thanks again for watching. And I'm going to continue playing here for a little bit, and we'll pick up, we'll do another another video, because I want to try out the, um, the tavern and all that. It's just going to be a while before we can get there. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.